The Syrian regime of Bashar al-Assad is moving further towards international isolation. Today, the country was suspended from the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, and the United Nations accused pro-government forces of war crimes and crimes against humanity. But while Syria faces fresh condemnation, even the strongest words haven't been enough to stop the horrific violence. The CBC's Nawa Ayad has the story from Beirut. Nawa? Ian, in Syria's conflict, there is no one front line. Today, it touched the borders, even beyond, as well as the capital. A bomb in the heart of Assad's Damascus just a few months ago would have been unthinkable. But there it was, hidden under a fuel tanker. The morning explosion, a shock of noise and smoke, a stone's throw from army command, and a hotel where foreign UN staff stay. The rebel army claimed it was retaliation for the regime's attacks. The regime called it terrorism. Once it hits here, near the United Nations observers, it can hit everywhere. So it is our joint responsibility, and we appeal once again to the United Nations, to the Security Council, to get united against terrorism. That such attacks keep happening suggests the regime's steady loss of control, says this analyst. The key point is that nowhere is safe in Damascus. That's the key message, that the people can bomb any place, uh, including near government and security agencies. And it's a sign of where Syria has reached in this uh, terrible conflict. Syria now is seized with conflict. The city of Aleppo recently bearing the brunt of it, a human rights researcher told CBC News on the telephone. The humanitarian situation is extremely difficult. Major bread lines, uh, electricity is extremely scarce, there are shortages of water, and uh, of course the situation with medical assistance is dire. There are very few functioning hospitals, and even the ones that do function come under attacks from the government forces. So many of them have been forced to leave. Some of the luckier wounded made it across the border to Turkey today. But with each day, the violence seems to reach further. One Syrian airstrike killed and wounded dozens today near that border with Turkey. Among them, several Lebanese who'd been held hostage there by rebel fighters. That, of course, has raised tensions here in Lebanon, which has been at pains to try to avoid getting dragged into Syria's crisis. But a spate of kidnappings here and threats of violence mean the trouble next door is spilling over.